Hey Wealthy Hustler, I'm going to show you how to optimize your landing page for higher conversion rates with this neat little trick of mine. For this tutorial, we are going to be using both OG Ads and CPA Build. If you haven't signed up for either of those networks, you can do so just by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. So let's get started. If you guys would like to see some more money making news, reviews, guides, and motivation, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss anything. All right, so first off, I wanna tell you why this technique works. So you might have noticed that a lot of mobile traffic doesn't convert as well with CPA Build as it would with OG ads. This is because mobile users that are on your landing page are more likely to download and install an app rather than have to complete a survey. So I've realized this and I've found a simple solution and that is installing a mobile detector script that differentiates mobile traffic from desktop traffic. For the mobile traffic, the button the user clicks will call the OG ads content locker and for the desktop traffic, the button will call the CPA build content locker. So let me show you how to do just that. First, you're going to need a CPA build and OG ads content locker created. If you don't have a CPA build or OG ads content locker created already, you can learn how to do that by clicking this card in the top right hand corner. Once you have your content locker, you need to copy and paste your code into a text file which we can refer to later. So to start, let's open up a new notepad and jot in our locker codes. Now we need to get our CPA build content locker code first. So to do this, we log in to CPA build and then we go to content lockers and then code for website. Once you're there, you're going to search for your content locker and press generate code. Copy the lines in section two and put that in your notepad. Now let's get our OG ads content locker. To do this, log into OG ads, then go to incentive tools, content locker, and scroll down to your content locker, which you have created. Click it and copy this code right here. Go back to your note that you've copied your CPA build code to, and then paste it on the bottom right here. Now go to edit and make sure this load method right here is set to on click. This is very important and then go all the way down and press save changes and finish editing. Next, you need to identify how exactly your locker gets called in your landing page. To do this, open your landing page in your browser and get all the way until you find the element which calls your locker script. Right click it and press inspect. You can see that this button has an on click attribute because when a user clicks the button, it will redirect him or her to the CPA locker. Right click this line and press copy element. Go back to your notepad and then for a third final paste, you're going to paste your verify button. Once you have your content locker codes and identified how your locker gets called, you need to make sure that the Atom text editor is installed. This is because it will be a lot easier with us all doing the same step rather than using different text editors. So if you don't have the editor, you can get it by going to atom.io and installing it as you would a normal application. So once you have Atom installed, you need to download your mobile detector script. To do this, go to mobiledetect.net and press download. It should download a zip file. Open up the zip file and click the mobile detect.2.8 folder or whatever folder version it is. You will see mobile detect.php. Drag that file in the same folder with your landing page. Now because mobile detect uses the PHP programming language, you need to make sure that your landing page is a PHP file as well. And in order to do this, you just navigate to the folder with your landing page and open the landing page with the Atom editor. So right click the landing page, press open with Atom. 
Then go to the left pane in the Atom window and right click your index.html file. Click Rename and make the file say PHP instead of HTML. Great, now that your landing page can understand PHP, you're ready to implement the mobile detector. To do this, go back to mobiledetect.net and scroll down to the develop section. Copy lines two and three and go back to your Atom editor. At the very top of the page, you're gonna need to put a less than greater sign, question mark, PHP, and then you're going to press enter. And then it should put the end PHP tag in, which is just a question mark and then a greater than less than sign. So press enter again and enter again. And in line two, you're going to paste those lines of code. So lines one, two, three, and four should look exactly identical to what I have. Now you need to locate where your element is, which calls the content locker code. To do this, go back to your note that you've made, and then you're going to go on the very last thing that you pasted on this note. So you're gonna copy this, and you're gonna press Control F for find, and then you're going to paste the code that you just copied. What this is gonna do is this is gonna locate exactly where that button was, which calls your content locker. Once you've located the element that calls the content locker, you need to go back to mobiledetect.net. Scroll down to where it says develop and copy lines six through eight. Go back to the Atom editor and just before that button element which calls your content locker, you're going to put a less than sign greater than question mark PHP enter and then it should enter in the question mark and then the greater than less than sign. And you're going to press enter again. And in between that code, you're going to paste line six through eight. Now inside these two brackets here, this is where we're going to put our button element. So let's copy this button element right here. We're going to cut it and then paste it right in between our brackets right here. Now you need to put a question mark and then a greater than less than sign to end this PHP statement right here. So this button element can render properly because if you didn't do this, PHP would think that this is PHP code and it would crash your whole website. So you need to make sure that you put this question mark and then greater than less than sign right here. Then right before this bracket, you're going to put a less than greater sign, question mark, PHP. And same with this. You're just going to have a open PHP statement and an end PHP statement in order to properly render this block of code. Now at the end of the bracket, just before the end of this PHP statement, you're going to type else and then you're gonna open a bracket and then it should put in a closed bracket and then you're gonna press enter. Just after this bracket, after this else statement, you're going to put a question mark and then a greater than or less than sign to close this statement. And the line right above the last block of this PHP statement, we're going to press enter one time and then we're gonna open a new PHP statement by doing a less than greater than sign question mark PHP. And last but not least, we're going to copy this button again. And we're gonna paste that within the else block. Okay, I know that's very confusing, but a good way to check if you did this correctly is to compare your code colors to mine. So if your button element isn't the same color as mine, then you're doing something wrong. So please take a look at the steps I did and just double check and make sure you did them right. So now you need to implement the right content lockers in each of these brackets of code. And as mentioned before, the onClick attribute calls the locker. And in this case, the onClick attribute just redirects the user to a survey link. For this tutorial, we want it to where the user clicks verify and it'll open up the content locker as a pop-up. To do this, go to your first button element in the onClick attribute, you need to replace what's ever in these two double quotes right here with the current function that you want them to open with. And for our example, 
we want to load the OG ads content locker. So to do this, we're going to type lowercase OG underscore load and then open parentheses and then a closed parentheses and then a semicolon after that. Now, if you've caught on what this line of code is, is this detects if the device is a mobile device. And if it's in a mobile device, it's going to make the button display as a verify button. But this on click attribute is going to load the OG ads content locker. Now you can imagine that we'll do the same on here with the CPA build content locker. So within this on click attribute, we're going to take out all of this line of code right here and we're going to type in CPA capital B lowercase u i l d capital L lowercase o c k open parentheses close parentheses and then at the end we're going to put our semicolon for the last steps we need to copy from the start of this php statement all the way down to this end of this php statement and we want to copy this and then we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of our page and we want to go right where our JavaScript files are. So right here, we want to paste this. And what we're going to be doing is instead of these buttons, this is going to load our OG ads content locker script. So what we do is we go down to our note and we find our OG ads locker script, which is right here. You copy that and then you're going to paste that right here on the first block. Now we're ready to put our CPA build script in. Just like we did with the OG add script, we're going to go back down to our notes and we're going to copy these two lines of code right here and paste them over the second block. So let's test this out here. But before you do this, please make sure that all of your landing page files are hosted by some type of server. This is because PHP is a server-sided language. So if you want to open up your PHP landing page in your browser directly, it's just not going to work. Okay, so let's test this as if I was a desktop user. Now you can see that I'm going to change my user agent to Android and this is going to simulate that I am a phone user. And lastly, I'm going to open up the developers console and I'm going to toggle responsive view and I'm going to say I'm on a Galaxy S5. So now when I restart, this is going to simulate as if I was a phone and this is going to trigger the PHP application to load the OG ads content locker instead. So as you can see, when I clicked verify, it opened up the OG ads content locker and now I can install mobile apps. So hopefully this can increase your earnings and increase your conversion for your landing pages. I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any questions, go to wealthyhustler.com forward slash contact and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please have a great day and live life on your own terms.